morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always, told out of voice radio. So today, we're looking at a new supporter card. It's Channeler, and it's basically a better version, kind of, than Pokemon Ranger. It's weird. It's a one-sided Pokemon Ranger. So whereas Pokemon Ranger Red remove all the effects of attacks on each player and his or her Pokemon, Channeler reads, although this has been translated by the lovely Joe over at Cerebeat.net and some stuff that I could piece together using Google Translate. Between us, we did it, boys. We did it. It reads, remove all effects of attacks on both you and your Pokemon. Now... What that means is good and bad. So let's say for argument's sake your opponent has used a Lucario and Melmetal. And they have used their GX attack to remove or reduce damage done by 30 to all of their Pokemon that are Metal until the end of the game. That is an effect on their Pokemon, but it is an effect on their Pokemon. Pokemon Ranger would remove it. Channeler does not. Okay, fair enough. But that doesn't mean Channeler's not a useful card. It doesn't mean it's not a good card. It doesn't mean it won't see play. This is basically a catch-all card to go, ha, 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 in your face, it didn't work, try something else. This is a card which is played to try and stop your opponent hurting you. But it is you and your Pokemon. Now, it's not often going to be you, it's usually going to be a Pokemon, but one that springs to mind here is Item Lock. So Seismitoad is a great example, this is one of the uses for Pokemon Ranger back in the day. Your opponent cannot play any item cards from his or her hand during his or her turn. It is not an effect on your Pokemon, it is an effect on you. So people would use Pokemon Ranger to turn off Seismitoad and you were done. Now, you also had the Marowak from Fates Collide that had a nice little ability that read prevent all effects of attacks done to you or your hand by your opponent's Pokemon and remove any existing effects, which was weirdly worded and I didn't like it. I much prefer what we've got on Channeler here. Though, of course, this is a translation of a Japanese card and we will have to wait until it is released over here to get the official translation. Now, we might not have great item lock at the moment, but we have got a couple. We have got Luxio. Now, Luxio sees very little play, but for one colorless energy, 30 damage plus item lock. Kind of cool. And then, of course, we've got memory energy that can be used, or for a very short time, Shining Celebi, that means you can actually evolve up into Luxray, and then just use the attack of Luxio anyway. But we're getting a better version of Item Lock coming along. And it is going to be Behem. Yeah, for some reason Pokemon have decided that a bunch of Gen 5 are going to be coming back in the new set. Why? I don't know. Let's just sit back and enjoy it. And Behem for free colorless energy. But remember, triple acceleration energy is a thing. Does 90 damage. Shuffles itself and all cards attached to it into your deck. And item locks your opponent. Now the 90 damage for item lock when you can bear it to stuff like Seismitoad and Luxio is huge. And the thing is you shuffle it and all cards attached to it back into your deck. Which is actually wonderful because if that didn't happen. Then triple acceleration energy would fall off at the end of your turn. But because it does happen it doesn't. Which is kind of wonderful. This gives you an out against Behem. Now, the question is how much of an out does it give you? Because if your opponent is using this every single turn to try and completely shut you down, this might not work all the time. Now, don't get me wrong, we've got Oranguru, and we've also got the new Excadrill, and they shuffle cards from your discard pile back into your deck. Well, to be fair, Oranguru puts it on the bottom of your deck, Excadrill shuffles back into your deck. The point is, with those, you can actually potentially use this over and over and over and over again. But most decks can't. Now, potentially they're playing Palpad. 
So they might be able to get themselves, I don't know, let's say they're playing four copies of this and two pal pad, then that does give eight turns. But the other thing is, this is your supporter for the turn. So if you're playing Channeler, you're not playing Cynthia to draw more cards or something along those lines. Now, to be fair, we do have Lieutenant Surge's strategy, and Lieutenant Surge's strategy will allow you to play both a Channeler and a draw card, but come on, how often are you going to have Lieutenant Surge and Channeler and whatever other card you wanted in your hand? It's going to happen sometimes, not all the time. So the point I'm making simply is this. Yes, this gives you an answer against something like Behem. But in reality, what it really does is buy you a turn or two with items, and you need to spend that turn or two with items figuring out how you're going to beat Behem. It's not a silver bullet, yay, now I win kind of card. It is a now I've got a turn or two to try and figure stuff out kind of card. But it's not just for stuff like this. It also removes any effects on your Pokemon. So let's take the Lipard that we looked at the other day. The Lipard said... That when you attack with it, the defending Pokemon, if it's a basic, cannot attack next turn. Your opponent's basic Pokemon can't attack next turn. Which is cool and all. And then you drop this and then you can just smash it as if Lipard never even attacked in the first place. Now, it's also going to get rid of special conditions. So if your opponent paralyzes you... Well, here's the thing. If your opponent paralyzes you with an attack, you're good. So let's say they use one of the million different Pokemon out there with Nuzzle, and they paralyze you. Cool. Now let's say Pachirisu, because that Pachirisu is adorable. You can get rid of it. But what if they use an ability? What if they use Raichu from Burning Shadows, and Earth Rotating Out is just an example, to paralyze you with an ability? Yeah, no good, ladies and gentlemen. No good at all. Because that might be an effect on your Pokemon, because they're paralyzed, that's certainly going to affect them. But the problem is, it came around through an ability, and if it comes around through an ability, it's not going to be stopped by this. And that's what makes this such an awkward card. There are so many things it does really well. It'll get rid of special conditions, but way more than that. Anything that stops your opponent attacking, yeah, this will stop that as well. Anything that stops you doing stuff like playing item cards, cool. The thing is, if a Kabutops comes along, well, unfortunately, Kabutops has an ability that stops you playing supporter cards. Unfortunately, that's not going to work. Now, if the Sableye comes along, this is the one from Guardians Rising. Again, it's going to rotate, but it, it's just an example. Your opponent cannot play any supporter cards from their hand during their next turn. So this will stop Sableye, but it won't stop Kabutops. So the question is, is this any good? It removes all effects on your opponent and all effects on you as long as they came from attacks. But it doesn't stop effects on your opponent's Pokemon, think Lucario and Melmetal. And it doesn't stop effects that came from ability, think Kabutops. So it is very much a, eh, sometimes it will be good. And that really is the answer here. What you need to do is sit down and go, right, what decks don't I want to play against? What decks am I worried about? If you're worried about decks that can be stopped with Channeler... This is an essential must play. Otherwise, you could play it as kind of a one-off just to see what would happen. Just to see if you can get any use out of it. But the problem is, it might not last. It might end up being a wasted card in your deck. And that's the decision. I think this is a classic free Wassy card. You need to put a couple copies in your binder because you might need to put it into a deck. But it is very much a niche card that will help some matchups rather than a must-play card that will help out everybody. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I think, but I would very much like to know what you think. So please do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at The Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv 
slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And do please make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash plays, where we talk about games that don't even have Pokemon in. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.